my doors are open, you know. I, I'm happy to fight anyone, anywhere. Like I'll, I'll travel across the world, you know, and take a fight. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me. This is what I do. This is what I trained my whole life for, pretty much. Like anyone that knows me, this is all I've ever done. So I, went, I went to school and then I started training boxing, dropped out of school and continued boxing and just ended up here. So this is all I know and you know, I just want to keep working at it and try to grow and be as good as I can get in the sport and you know, just leave a legacy behind. So, you know, but yeah, I'm always open to fight anybody, anywhere. It doesn't really matter what, what rank they are or how far ahead of me they are. You know, like I always come to uh, put on a good show for the fans of boxing. Well, Davina, 10 people were inside the Sunnybank Hills home on Brisbane's south side, including heavyweight boxer Justice Hooney. When shots were fired, a spray of bullets hit the home just before 4 a.m. this morning. It didn't affect me at all. I just kind of looked past it. I was in the gym the morning of it uh, when it happened. I was, I was really zoned in. It was fight week. Yeah, that was a massive fight for me. It was, it was a chance to get I uh, ranked in the top 15 in one of the sanctioning bodies, so yeah, I was I had tunnel vision on the fire. I didn't really let it bother me. Uh, obviously, it was a shock, but yeah, I just looked past it and worried about things that I could handle, which was the fight. And yeah, obviously, I went in there and handled my business. Yeah, it's a really big signing for us. I mean, everyone knows Australia is, is a big market for us. Um, we've already got a fantastic stable of Australian fighters and now add in to the glamorous heavyweight division with Justice Hooney. Fantastic talent, great amateurs um, and a real star of Australian boxing and someone that I believe can really launch an attack on the heavyweight division. A massive opportunity for me to be fighting on the zone, like a platform like this with Anthony Joshua and uh, like Joe Parker and Zane on there as well. It's massive for me, you know, like this is this is where I belong though. Like I put on a lot of hard work and um, a lot of hours to get to this point in my career. But to be doing it at only um, eight fights, eight professional fights now is it's unreal for myself. It'll put me in a good step and those eight fights that I've had is They've taught me a lot and to be able to say I've fought on a main event pay-per-view card as well, like headlined it, also giving me the feeling to know what it's like to be fighting on those big stages, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The red corner retires their fighter, your winner by technical knockout, creating history on debut from the blue corner, he is the new Australian heavyweight champion. It's a big thing for me to, you know, win the Australian title on my first fight. And obviously since then I've gone on to defend that and also win other titles as well. So, you know, it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning for myself. So, you know, I've still got a long way to go, but, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to be, you know, stepping up and fighting on these big cards, uh, especially over in Saudi Arabia. Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou which is taking place on March the 8th at the Kingdom Arena, Riyadh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It means the world to me to be fighting on a card like this. Big thank you to my promoter and um, my management as well for getting me on this massive card, you know. Their last card they held was, you know, full of ex-world champions and current world champions. So for me to be, a be able to perform on a card like this is it's unreal and I, I think um, it won't set in until uh, I'm in the ring over there. So yeah, I'm just, I'm working my ass off, trying really hard for this fight and uh, go over there and put on a good performance. I think the whole outlay of boxing in Australia is changing, you know, like there's probably the most world champions that we've ever had at this current time than ever before. So, you know, for me to be amongst that mix coming up is yeah like I said it's unreal for me and I just can't wait to you know have my opportunity where I'm fighting for world championship and you know bringing it back to Australia like others have done.
definitely in a new golden era. Um, a lot of people would think of us as just front foot fighters, just go forward, just show a lot of toughness. But I think that's changed now. Like, a lot of our boxers coming out of Australia are starting to evolve and learn how to you know, use angle, speed and footwork. So um, yeah, I definitely think it's at its at its peak right now, and um, you know, it's just showing with the uh, world titles that we're bringing back to Australia. A lot of the heavyweights these days are you know a lot bigger and carry a lot more weight, so they obviously can't hold that for the whole 12 rounds or how many rounds they're doing. But yeah, I think it went through the era of the big guys coming through with like Klitschko and all that, but. Now I think it's starting to go back to, you know, the the movies and people that are quick on the on their feet and evading punches. Like yeah, Usyk is a prime example of you know, where the heavyweight division is heading. And yeah, like I said, I'm just grateful to be like, amongst that or coming up to to join that that party. So heavyweight division skill wise, I think Anthony Joshua would just walk over him, but said it's a heavyweight division, all it takes is one punch. And if you switch off for that split second, you'll be out of there. So Ngamo, he's got that he's got that heavyweight power, you know, obviously coming from the UFC, he's in there to destroy. So yeah, it'll be um, exciting to watch and I'm, yeah, hopefully I get to watch it after my fight, you know, it'll be a great experience. The first undisputed world heavyweight champion of this century will be crowned two unbeaten heavyweights at the peak of their powers at the very best will be colliding in a fight that the fans have been crying out for the wbc and long reigning lineal world heavyweight champion tyson fury collides with the unified world heavyweight champion Alexander Rusik at the Kingdom Arena in a history-making bout that fans will never forget. The winner of this fight will be the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis in 1999. For me, just Rusik's footwork and movement will be too much, I believe. Like, he's, he's not a sitting object like he's not there to be hit he's got good angles and good footwork you know fear for a big guy fury has got that as well but yeah i just don't see him um you know if if someone like wilder or his last fight can lay a punch on him and drop him yeah you know, i just uh, i don't know how it'll go against this if someone that moves someone that's got good agility in and out it'll be interesting to see how that fight plays out hopefully you see myself up there within the top 10 in range of a mandatory fight within the next two or three years you know, i'm only 24 25 this year so you know, even in two or three years i'll still be pretty young for the heavyweight division a lot of those guys are 30 years and older at the moment that are at the top of the division so i'm in no rush you know, just be patient, continue learning, and slowly perfecting my craft. And then, you know, when my time comes, I'll be able to step up and, you know, take those world titles. Next month, Joseph Parker will battle China's Zhile Zhang and try and stake a claim to be the WBO interim heavyweight title next month. The Kiwi heavyweight is coming off an excellent win against Deontay Wilder just before Christmas. But how will he go against a 40-year-old Zhang, the man nicknamed Big Bang? I'm backing Parker on this fight. I think um, Zhang, Zhang is good, but he's good against someone that's just standing there right in front of him. Whereas I think... Joe Parker, will, he's got that movement, he's got speed, he's in and out, so uh, I think he will, he'll he'll take the win on this spot. If you can't land that power punch, then you pretty much got nothing to land pull back on. Like, a good example of it is the Joseph Parker versus Wilder fight. Like, he made Wilder look like a rookie in there, you know, and that was uh, ex, the former WBC world champion. So. You know, skills definitely pay the bills. It doesn't really matter how much power you got. If you got skills, then you win fights. Like you can evade punches, and you you can evade those big knockout punches that they say are in the heavyweight division. And they're pretty much nothing, to be honest.
watch out for me. I'm on the come up. Uh, hopefully someday soon I'll be fighting for a world title and I'll be able to headline one of these massive cards that they're holding over in Saudi.